Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here again for Droid Life, bringing you another video. This time, a unboxing of the Huawei P10. Uh, if you were paying attention to the Mobile World Congress taking place in Barcelona uh, back in February, you may have seen Huawei introduce this device. And um, and if you were paying attention to that, you would know that this phone is not uh, coming to the U.S. at this time. At least we don't know of any plans about it coming to the U.S. Uh, it is already currently available for purchase in uh, other markets, but Huawei was kind enough to send us over one because this is pretty much Huawei's sort of new flagship to go along with the Mate 9. And there is also a uh, P10 Plus, which is a bit larger. So this is a smaller variant of the P10. Uh, but uh, definitely looking forward to kind of just breaking into it. But again, you know, for anyone here in the U.S., don't get too excited um, because it's not uh, currently uh, coming to America. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get right into it. Uh, we have a pretty interesting packaging here. It just says Huawei Design on the back. No, no specs or anything like that. So pretty bare bones. Uh, but we do have this sweet little, well, kind of like a clamshell design or something. Sort of like a, reminds me of an oyster. <laughs> and here's the pearl. A black pearl, nonetheless. So here's the phone. And uh, plenty of plastic and stuff to take off. So I'm going to do that and power it on. But then we'll dive what else is into the box. And as you can see, we have the black model here. This phone uh, comes in a few different uh, colors. They worked with... Pantone, I believe it was, to make a, a green option, a blue option, but uh, so far I'm sort of digging this black. You know, back in the day, every phone was black, and now we have all these different colors and stuff, and so I don't mind uh, just going back to a regular black every now and then. And uh, here we have our power button right here. So I'll power on the device. I'll leave it sitting to the side. That way, if you're interested in the boot animation, you can see it. So right there, I'll leave it for you. Uh, we'll dive into the box here. Got nothing there. We've got a booklet, I'm guessing, that logo means. Uh, yeah, your SIM removal tool. And we've got inside here, you've got your standard uh, USB Type-C to USB-A. We got some headphones here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. These are not Type-C headphones, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. And then, of course, we've got a Euro charger. Because, again, this phone is not coming to America. So, of course, the charger I have is Euro. But that's okay. We'll just take that Type-C connector and all that. So, I will tidy back up the box here. Oh, man. If I can. All right. Put the box over here. So, here it is. The, uh, the P10. Um, before I kind of dive into setting it all up and all that, I will give a rundown of the specifications there we go all right so first things first 5.1 inch full hd display so this is one of the smaller displays that we've seen hit the market it seems like in a while now all the displays are at least 5.5 inches and anything but so if you wanted to import this phone you know a good reason would be if you enjoy smaller display sizes 5.1 inch full hd uh looks pretty good here on the front side we have a fingerprint reader uh, sort of in the same place and very similar looking uh, to the OnePlus 3 and 3T. I can already see we've got some more another glass cover here and that's going to bug the heck out of me. Oh boy it's on there pretty good. I may just have to forget it. Alright I'm going to try and forget it. Uh, on the bottom side here you've got your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with USB Type-C external speaker on the right side here, you've got that uh, gorgeous sort of red power button. Uh, it co contrasts very well uh, with the overall kind of matte black body. Uh, up here, you've got your volume up and down. On the top, you've got a microphone. And then on the left side here, you've got your uh, SIM tray as well as uh, expandable storage. So specs-wise, we're looking at a Kirin 960 octa-core processor. Uh, that's the same as the Huawei Mate 9. Also looking at 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gig or uh, 64 gigs of uh, built-in storage. On the back side here, we've got dual Leica branded cameras with phase detection. Uh, one is a 20 megapixel, the other a 12 megapixel. Uh, one being uh, monochromatic, the other being RGB. So, you know, s same thing as the Huawei Mate 9. One's really good for black and white kind of portrait shots if you want or landscape. And the other, your standard uh, color camera. On the front side here, you've got your 
8 megapixel secondary camera. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the specs. Uh, built in battery is uh, 3000 milliamp hour, if I'm not mistaken, or in that ballpark. Again, I, you know, since the phone's not coming to America, I sort of have to brush myself up on the specs. I'm, it might be 3200 milliamp hour battery, uh, but either way, it's, it's 3000 or over. <laughs> Uh, so definitely a good battery, and especially if you're talking about a 5.1 inch full HD display, uh, you should be seeing some really good battery life. And I got to say, this phone, it feels rather fantastic in hand. Uh, you've got on-screen buttons here, uh, along with that uh, fingerprint reader. Just feels very good in hand. Huawei uh, did a real nice job. So I'm going to go ahead and boot into the um, sort of software and we can take a look at the new version of EMUI that launched with this. Well, it didn't launch with this, but it's EMUI 5.0 running on top of Android Nougat. So let me get that all set up and we'll be right back. All right, and we are back with the P10 all set up. So I got my fingerprint in there. So display turned off. You can just put your thumb down there, have it boot up. And I, I also took off all that plastic so you can really get a look at the glass being used here on this 5.1 inch display. Uh, again, now that it's all set up, eh, I, again, I got to say it's a very nice phone. Um, as you can see, uh, this is sort of the EMUI. So this is actually uh, EMUI 5.1. And as you can see, Huawei is still sort of pushing that launcher uh, that doesn't have a app drawer. Uh, but don't worry, with the MUI 5.0 and 5.1, you can actually just dive into here. And then if you scroll down, you'll see home screen style. And right there, you can just click on that, and it'll give you a uh, app drawer right on your home screen. There you go, app drawer. Now you don't have to worry about it. Uh, again, same thing we saw with the Mate 9. Uh, sort of your basic system toggles look. It, of course, looks a little bit different. Uh, but other than that, it's sort of a more standard Android experience. Now we're going to dive down here all the way down into About Phone. Oops. About Phone. There we go. And we can see we've got a uh, EMUI version 5.1, Android version 7.0. And then when you scroll down a little bit, um, Huawei does a nice thing where they show you a lot of the specifications so you can see that 960 4 gig RAM this looks to be a 64 gig model 1080p resolution all that uh, right now we're running the February uh, security patch level so that's not bad for a phone that just launched and uh, yeah that is about it for the P10 I will even though this phone is not coming to the US I will most likely just start using this because I'm really excited about a phone that's this size and uh, I'll try and get a review out before the Galaxy S8 and the G6 um, definitely hit the U.S. soil. Uh, so going to just have to start pumping it out because we're running out of time. All that stuff is coming up pretty soon. But uh, if you guys have any questions about the Huawei P10 or even the P10 Plus, I'm sure I could answer uh, any of those questions. So shoot them down in the comment section below. Uh, but until then, we're Droid Life. Peace.